And it, it lends itself to laziness. I, I can't speak for other men, but I've become so incredibly lazy. You know, I'm in a long-term relationship now. I've been with my wife a long time, and I sort of do what I can get away with. The minimum, I do the minimum. And I thought I was getting away with it. Until the other day, she had a word. It was quite frightening. It would obviously be like a build-up, and I, I didn't see it coming. She just came up to me, Michael, Michael. Because her eyes look different. No, no, no. <laughs> Can I have a word, please? Um, okay, what is it? Okay. She said, Michael, if you open one more milk, when there's already a milk open, <laughs> so help me God, I'm going to divorce you. <laughs> really? I, with this close to the edge over milk? Yes, it's just a build-up. You just don't listen to me. I've asked you so many times. It's really winding me up. Why don't you do what I ask you? I'm sorry, I just, I just consider there's an amount of milk in the house, and, you know, that, that sort of that level goes down as a whole. No, it doesn't go down as a whole. Just do as I ask you, all right? Take the bottle that's already open. It really upsets me, OK? Will you do that for me? Yes, of course I will. All right. Is there anything else? I should never have said that. Why didn't I leave it there? But yes, there are a few things, if you, if you, now that you ask, that I, don't under, that I don't understand, Michael. I don't understand about you. Well, what is it? Well, why, why do you... Sometimes you do help. Sometimes you put your, your dirty laundry in the basket, and I'm grateful for that, thank you. But why occasionally do you just leave it near the basket? <laughs> you need to put it in the basket to help me. Why would you sometimes not help me and put it near the basket? I just don't understand that. Why is that, Michael? because I'm throwing it in. <laughs> Sometimes I miss. <laughs> well, then I need to go back and pick it up. I do. I often go back and pick it up. Then I try again. <laughs> Sometimes I'll, I'll do that for half an hour. <laughs> I'm sorry, I won't do that again. Well, you better not, because it's really pissing me off. There's a few more things as well. Do you know that sometimes when you finish a packet of biscuits, you put the empty packet back in the cupboard. <laughs> Why on earth would you do that? I didn't think you knew that was me. <laughs> Who else is it going to be? And will you please, and Michael, I've literally, I know that I, for a fact, asked you this a hundred thousand times since we've been together. Please, will you put your plate in the dishwasher, not next to it, because next to it, I know you think you're helping, but you're not helping, because it gets cleaned when it's in it, not next to it. Do you understand that? <laughs> Sorry, darling, I do always help. Every time I finish my food, I always drop it off in the, in the zone of the dishwasher. In the zone isn't helping me. You might as well put it in the fucking garden. It doesn't get clean in the garden, and it doesn't get clean next to the dishwasher. It gets clean in the dishwasher. Do you understand me? Why can't you understand that concept? When I unload the shopping, do I unload it next to the fridge, hoping someone's going to finish the job for me? No. When I cook the Sunday lunch, do I put the chicken next to the oven? No, I put it in the oven! <laughs> We take the children to school every day. Do we sit on the pavement next to the car? No, we get in the car! <laughs> the only thing you clean in this house on a regular basis is your internet history, and it's disgusting. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Because we are in a long-term relationship. 13 years we've been together. You know, we're, I think we're deliriously happy. And there are people in here in long-term relationships, there are people in new relationships, there are people not in relationships. I suppose the question I'm asking is how do you know you're in a long-term relationship? How do you know you can start terming your relationship as long-term? Well, I think, if you're interested, I've actually pinpointed the exact moment when a relationship goes long-term. I think it's when, before sex, you no longer take each other's clothes off, but you take your own clothes off independently, because <laughs> you realise it's more practical and less time-consuming. <laughs> Because in a new relationship, obviously, you're filled with romance and passion, lots of fiddling with bra straps and belts and ripping. And then, one night, you don't even discuss it, you'll just find yourself independently lying adjacent to one another and slowly taking your clothes off. Obviously, once you've established sex is on, that's normally just a sort of hopeful look towards her. Mm. 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 Or she'll do something sensationally erotic, like mute the television. <gasps> You're watching that. That can only be one thing. Yay! <laughs> and then you just slowly take your clothes off. She'll be there doing all her business. You know. Socks off, obviously, if it's a special occasion. <laughs> Confirm you're both entirely naked. 
Right, let's begin. <laughs> and then you're in! Long-term relationship has begun. And there's no going back. And it's the same for afterwards as well, you know. In a new relationship after sex, you were made naked for some period of time. In your new relationship, everything's so new. The cover's off you. Look at me, naked. I'm so comfortable to be naked with you. I should be walking around completely naked. Look at me, completely naked in my new relationship with you. I'm hungry. Let's go downstairs, naked. Look at me looking in the fridge with my chili balls in my new relationship. In a long-term relationship, literally the microsecond that it ends, you reassemble. Everything goes back to where it was. The book comes back out, the glasses are back on, the laptop reopens, the television is unmuted. It's like a magic trick. I don't know how couples do it. Somebody could come into a room, survey the scene, walk out for three, maybe three and a half minutes, walk back in, the same scene would greet them. How is that even possible? But you have to be careful, you have to be careful in a long-term relationship. You have to respect women because they're so different. Because you can take them for granted and often, you know, she'll have a word. You know. She'll say, you know, Michael, you've got to be a bit more romantic with me, you know? We've been together a long time now. You've got to make a bit of an effort sometimes. Be a bit more romantic, because I'm a woman. I'm a woman. <laughs> and I've been doing some reading as well recently. I've read three books. <laughs> and I'm a woman. And I need to be seduced. This is very difficult for men to understand because men don't need to be seduced. We can seduce ourselves when we're not even conscious. <laughs> Often we just wake up in the morning and just, oh! <laughs> I appear to have fully seduced myself during the night. <laughs> Bonus! <laughs> Darling, I'm up for it if you're up for it. I'm asleep, what are you talking about? Piss off! <laughs> oh, I think you shut the bed anyway, let's leave it. <laughs> Spontaneity! That's big as well. Women love spontaneity. I just don't think men really know what it means. You know, just got to be a bit more spontaneous, you know. Just be spontaneous every once in a while. Surprise me with something. Be spontaneous. Men don't really know what that means. We think it means do something when she least expects it. That's all we've really come up with. <laughs> like someone should be bending down, loading the dishwasher. <laughs> I just sort of catch her in the corner of my eye. Oh, yeah, hello. Shag in. Hello. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm busy. I'm being spontaneous. No, piss <laughs> off. Sorry, what's wrong with you? you? Wanted me to be spontaneous. I was, I was reading the paper and then I tried to have sex with you. It was a completely spontaneous. It's the definition of spontaneous. I can't win. Once I actually knocked her in by accident. Ah! Shit! Jesus! Oh, Christ! It's a spoon in my eye! What the hell were you doing? Sorry, darling, I was trying to be spontaneous. Spontaneously nearly took my eye out, you idiots! Such a dickhead! Oh my god, I've got pasta in my hair. Peas on my forehead. Such a twat. I wouldn't be here if you put your plate in the fucking dishwasher and not next to it. 